I want to tell you something. I'm sure, and I know about this, it have some people. One day, I know a girl not too far from here, and the man have one daughter, and they have a business here. Yeah. And one day, she gave her next girl a drive, and she was coming down the road. And that one drive, one drive, up to today, she's still paralyzed. Right by grandmother, by the chicken neck there. Up to today, the man have one daughter, he have wealth, he have, the man have wealth, I know them good, they're my good friends. And that one daughter, because she do one foolish thing, she gave that person a drive in that vehicle. That person crashed to the chain link there. And she's spine broke. And up to today, this morning Sunday, she in a wheelchair that's more than eight years now. Eight years now, yeah. Eight years. So I want to tell you, church, is fitting and what is not fitting or unfitting if you don't allow God to build you and to grow you and to mature you and people put something in your hands people put something in your hands you know this morning I was talking about a lot of preachers they go and they they, 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 they they promote themselves, yeah. I know them just in the other day, there's apostle today. Is, is, I don't know if they can even spell the name correct. I don't know. But yet, you will take a word from them. Yet, you do not know what spirit they're carrying. Yet, you will allow them to pray for you. You don't know if they bring things out of you or they bring things in you. You don't know. But all you know, they got a future, they got a piece of a pulpit, they got a foreign pocket, they go and buy a keep on, if they buy that anyway, where they buy again. And a few people come sitting because they don't know better. People in everything there is a preparation. You know something? For God to use me and you, He'll prepare we. He'll prepare we. You know, before you bake a cake, you know, you prepare it, you beat the eggs, you throw in a little bit of this, that, that. You make sure everything go in order. So God has to prepare. And they go to big scriptures, you know, like no weapon form against me, it shall not prosper. The <laughs> weapon form against you and the chair, the whole church, it will prosper through everything, through the wall and all. Because, people, there is a preparation. And they make a big decoration, you know. They make a decoration, you know what I say, I'm telling you. Even this last three minutes, they went on Facebook. If you say amen to whatever rubbish they put on Facebook, in this last three minutes, you know what? You got big blessing. You know what fool put out there? You know what they say? Before time, they used to tell you about ten step to God, five step, seven step. I tell you, I'm going to be climbing a million steps yet, and I'm still going. I'm still going. Climbing the God is not going up, I'm all alone. Then I'm going to put elevator. Or they might have to put a step, probably call it step. Put it over the current. Huh? Escalator. 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 Escalator, Giselle. To escalate them. But with Jesus, it's not about escalator. He was an L. Evade you. They call it yes. Elevate you. You have to elevate your spirit. When God elevates your spirit, even 
will also promote your spirit. And when you promote your spirit, let me tell you something. When God promotes your spirit and he put you up there, let me tell you something. Hell or high waters, devil or devil angels, no one could bring you down. When God promotes you, you're well promoted. Everybody? So, what we need to do, look to the altar and the perfecter of our faith. There are some people, today they up, tomorrow they don't. Today they up, tomorrow they don't. Today they gone up, the escalator just out. And tomorrow, they come down the escalator. But, if they allow Jesus to elevate them, they will not be demoted. They will not be demoted. Let me tell you something, when God put you up, when God put you up, you up them. You up them. Because you can stand and you can declare the word of God with the power and the virtue and the spirit. And you can see the word of God and God used you to speak. It come to pass. It come to pass. A long time ago, I've been having some serious dreams. Mighty things, mighty things. This is just like not even the size of the office. Because I've been seeking God, I've been reaching out to God, I've been telling God, Lord, you elevate me. Lord, you elevate me. This is not something I could come and tell you to do. You can't tell me to do that. I have to go before him and say, Lord, your word declare, who much has been given to, much is required. So the word of God said, it is not fitting for a fool to live in luxury. Plenty of fools want to live in luxury. Plenty of fools looking at the, they're looking at the natural things. They say here what? If I put this together, and if I put that together, and if I put a next together, why Jesus and all that? Because I keep hearing that about if I do this, and if I do that, and if I do that. I know a person. The ministry is so beautiful. You know, she put aside, she put everything. When you walk in and I'm in the street, you'll feel like a walk in heaven. So beautiful. Man, the pulpit alone, when they look at it, they say, wow, that is great. And it's costly. So the place is well put away. All I hear is, and that's good, right? That's good. That's good. The place is well put away. But what about your spirit? I wonder. If your spirit is well put away in that secret place of the Most High, so that you can abide or you can rest in the shadow of the Most High, where you will be able to get revelation, where you will be able to take the blessings from God and bring it down to it. I wonder if. That aspect, if if a mind traveled that distance to really understand, to understand ministry is all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's not about putting some chairs, it's not about putting carpet, it's not about rebuilding. Because I remember when we didn't have all this, all we had was Jesus and was miracles, signs and wonders. This church is known. People may come, get prayed, might see them, but it's known for when people come, miracles, signs and wonders. Because all of 
called Jesus. It is not fitting for a food delivered luxury. And let me tell you something. When you promote yourself, people who don't know you, you can fool them. You can't fool people who can see true and true you. No, you can't fool them. Because they will fully well know that you're trying to pretend, that you're trying to put up a show. How much more? How much worse? For a slave to rule over a prince, princess. I want to ask everybody something. Everybody know a slave. What is a slave? The, the slave mentality is to listen to the master, right? A slave mentality. Up to today, there are a lot of people still enslaved. Yeah, they are enslaved. Because, according to what they serve, they become a slave to it. Watch man. I serve a Jesus. I'm a slave for Jesus. I'm a, I'm a slave for Jesus. It's better to be a slave for Jesus or a doormat at the church than to be a princess for the devil. Amen. It's always better. You dress up and you call up your eye and you put up some things in your head. I say, oh, I'm a princess. I'm a princess. Yeah, he's a princess on the outside. Everybody knows he's a princess on the outside. But I wonder if the prince who is Jesus Christ. I wonder if the prince, the prince of peace. I wonder if he resides or he lives inside of you. The Prince of Peace. I wonder. You see something? People sometimes, let me tell you what happened, right? They grew up with the wrong teaching. They grew up with the wrong mentality. They grew up about the teaching about once you put a smile in your face and everything that they ever see when they naturalize. They see that being real good of you. Hey, you're good. That's who they grow up. But God want to make sure that your spirit is in right standing. You know the Bible says, where my heart is, that is where his word is now. So if you're in church this morning and your heart is something else, you can't wait for church to finish. Because your heart is something else, because you have to go somewhere. Let me tell you something. And many a time that happened. I remember we went on a missionary trip when we was abroad. And it's said after church, we go into the beach. I don't know what country. If it's Grenada, it have a sulfur, a sulfur spring there. And it said after church, Grenada, I want to believe here. After church, we go in there. And they made the announcement first. And they said, soon after church, that morning in church, would you believe? Plenty of them couldn't even pray with it. Because their, their spirit was already the sulfur spirit. So when you see them sitting in the church, we well, just a part of them in church. There was a church, but then when we don't see the sun beating and chopping up and all kind of thing in the sulfur spirit. And hear what? Church was so dead that morning because the people, the spirit went in the sulfur spring and the focus and the direction was not on God. They were just in church because they know that when they got in church, after church we go in there, provided who wanted to come and meet us. So people, we have to make sure that our home in Christ. You cannot be in church. But your spirit, mind, soul, body, everything, you can't wait for church over to probably go, I don't know where, I don't know where, a place of your choice. Alright? I control no one. I control no one. 
After church, you go where you want. But of course, I will tell you what is right from wrong. So you cannot say, well, I'm not teaching you the right thing. When I say go where you want, I'm not telling you after church, go in a, a drunken party. Or, you make your absence. Amen. Let's make my life much more easier. I do have to sit on what this one with you going on your way. Go where you want. My thing, Lord, I love you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I glorify you. Lord, I thank you, Lord. Father, for your grace. Father, for your mercy. Father, I thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Take it up, brother. Father, I thank you, Lord, so much. Father, Lord, I pray. Lord, let the Spirit of God Lord, go upon Lord, everyone. Lord, the protection. Lord, of your Holy Ghost. Father, take over. Father, God's you. Lord of life. Father, let it be done. In Jesus' name. Lord, I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Right about now, everybody. We got to get set.